This is Tim Sturry for Washington State Magazine. Nicole Barreau was 13 years old when Germany invaded France in 1940. She has now written a memoir, Season of Suffering, Coming of Age in Occupied France, 1940-45, to published by WSU Press. In her memoir, she recalls the occupation of Nancy, Lorraine, the severe shortages, the collaboration and the disappearance of neighbors, as well as the despair and hope of a teenage girl. Stationed on the Maginot Line, her father was captured and sent to Germany as a prisoner of war. When he finally returned home in 1945, he was emotionally broken and alienated by his captors' cruelty and propaganda. When the Allies liberated Nancy, Nicole met a dashing American airman, Gordon Tafflinger, who was head of a surveillance squadron and personal pilot for General George Patton. Nicole and Gordon fell in love and married, then moved to the U.S. Tafflinger remained in the military for several years, then earned his MBA at the University of Chicago. He accepted a position teaching business administration at WSU, where he remained his entire career. Nicole earned her Master's of Fine Arts in 1968 and taught French and art in the Pullman schools. Soon after they met, Gordon gave Nicole a camera. I recently spent a morning with her looking at photographs she took and others as she remembered the war years. Let's talk about your mother. Uh, she was the youngest of uh, nine children and lived in the outskirts of Nancy. And here she is with uh, her sister, and here she was uh, 16 after uh. she met my father, my grandfather. Uh. And uh, here she is on, on our wedding day. And this is the house where mm. I was born. Okay. Here's my aunt and my mother here, my aunt, my little cousin. We were going out someplace. We had a restaurant, and, and then we moved here when I was about five years old. And my friend I went to school with, and my father... Your, your mother and he had split up? They had yeah. separated okay. after the war. Okay. It was impossible to live with him. Yeah. It was bad. He was so mad I married an American. Then my husband was should have been a polit politician. <laughs> I mean, he went there, and the first thing you know... They were friends. <laughs> See, he was good looking. Oh yeah, right? very good looking. Wow, I liked him right yeah, away. Bet. And he was so nice. You would have loved talking uh, with him. Can we look at your wedding invitations quick? Yeah, we went fancy with it. That's a French style. Yeah, you were married in Nancy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. This man was prisoner in Germany for many uh -huh. years. And he oh he had to get in a jeep and huh. well by golly he drove it for few blocks. Uh -huh. This has a lot of memories because we were, um, Gordon came with, came to visit. Anyways, we were at that house and Gordon had taken this picture. We had the radio on and as Gordon heard that, uh, uh, that Patton had been, had died. Mm. He just lost it because mm. he adored Patton. Mm. And I was sad. And the reason we had this light I was carrying around is because we didn't have much electricity mm. left. After the war, uh, Gordon was sent to Germany. You know, he went on up and up, and he went to Wiesbaden. Gordon took me with him for a month to stay there, but mm. I was I was there. I wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah. And I was on the steps. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, one inside. Very plush place. Yeah, that's you know. great. Oh, man. That was... And here I'm coming here. So did your husband take this? Yeah. Uh -huh. It was a very small ship. We were 13 passengers. Uh -huh. <laughs>